Hello, great people. Welcome back to our channel. We are so excited to have you again. Fulani Hitsman have done it again. And this time around is to one person who has been craving for good governance, who have been craving for accountability, justice, fairness. And, and I'm talking about uh, human rights activists, Amoyele Soare. Fulani Hitsman have put tears in his eyes as... Um, they have uh, hacked down the brother. You're going to hear full details as he, you know, used the opportunity to write a tribute for the younger brother. But before we give you full details of this news, if you're not subscribed, just hit the red subscribe button and also the bell icon so that you can get notification anytime we publish our videos. All right, let's listen to the news. The younger brother of Sahara reporter, publisher, and human rights activist Amoyele Soare is dead. The activist confirmed the incident in a Facebook post on Saturday. According to him, his brother was killed by suspected hitmen. Further described the deceased as someone who made everyone happy, adding that he always took all the blames when they were about to be punished by their father. Omoyele Sore has described his younger brother, Felix. Olajide Soare as an out-of-the-box thinker who created his own genes of music. Soare, in an emotional tribute to Olajide, who was killed by hitsmen in Okada area of Edo State on Saturday, added that his younger brother was assassinated by everything that was not right. Sarah reporters have reported that gunmen suspected to be hitsmen shot dead Felix Olajide at Okada area in the Ovia Northeast local government area of a state. The incident which occurred on Saturday morning threw the family into mourning. The disease was a student of pharmacy at the Grenadian University before the unfortunate incident. The Okada Divisional Police Officer confirmed that Felix was murdered in cold blood by a bloodthirsty headsman. In a tribute, Soares said, I have, I have very sad news. My immediate younger brother, Olaji de Soare, was today shot and killed near Okada in Edo State by reportedly hitmen stroking numbers on his way from Ignatian University in Edo State, where he is studying pharmacy. They snuff out the life yet another real human being. I'll take that again. They snuff out the life yet another real human being. Rest in power. Dr. Mamiye, this act in itself will not delay their days of justice. I travel widely with you and our father as a little kid. You were the most loved, robust kid I ever first met. You, Mr. Magnet, had no enemy. You, Mr. Sunshine Foundation, who made everybody happy. You, the boy who knocked out his older ones to party taking all the blames when our disciplinarian father found out. You, the guy who was an out-of-box thinker, who decided school wasn't for you and created your own gene of music and then turned around to go to school after almost turned 50. You live your life so that everyone could be all right, but now assassinated by everything that is not right. Saddest day yet. Sarah Bonner has in February reported how youth leader in a do state issued a 14 day ultimatum to Fulani headsmen to vacate their community owing to the killings and violence perpetrated by suspected killer headsmen. Around the same time, aggrieved women in Arumi, a do had protested the rising case of attack, ritual, and kidnapping by suspected headsmen. The women had blocked some major roads in the community, alleging that they were constantly being harassed and intimidated by the headsmen. They had lamented that they had lost lots of fortune as a result of the destructive activities of cows belonging to the headsmen, noting that they were no longer safe. According to them, the solution to the problem is for Fulanis to leave the area. Well, this is really um, heartbreaking considering the fact that this man, Amoye Lesoore, now have had a test of the negative, nefarious 
act of this Fulani hates men. I mean, it's it's really troubling. We that that's his younger brother. And, you know, this is uh, why the South South, or let me say the Southern governors, had put it as a responsibility on all the states to ensure they regulate these guys. Because um, when you regulate them to some extent, it, it will cripple some of their own negative activities. It will not allow them, you know, to be fully active as they ought to be because the first thing these guys do is they come around pretending always to be, you know, that they, they'll pretend to, you know, be rain cows and all of that and use that opportunity to inflict pains and carrying out their nefarious activities. And that's why the issue of curtailing them and making sure that they don't even occupy the forest of our own community is overly important. And shockingly, I can tell you that a new state governor has not done anything about this issue of, you know, um, regulating the activities of these hate men, you know, by the anti-open grazing, which was agreed upon by the 17, you know, southern governors. And, and I mean, look at what has happened. Now, this guy, we are hearing that of Amoye Leso Ore because he's a renowned guy, you know, is known nationally as an activist. There are other people that same thing has happened possibly to their sisters, to their brothers, to their friends, to their sister, to their brother, to their children, and nobody heard anything about it. And everybody just feel, you know, these things are not happening as they know we, uh, the way we have been making noise and all of that. These guys need to be controlled. If nobody wakes up to control these guys, this is the kind of news that we will keep hearing. I am telling you. We have to wake up and put these guys on that check, irrespective of the fact that whether they are they are part of a presidency or they are from the same place with the president, it doesn't matter. You understand? It doesn't really matter. We have to do something to show them that whoever they are, um, they, they, they can't be running our community, running our states for us. You understand? And right down, there had been a lot of reactions. Someone here say, oh, Jesus, wow, so sorry for your loss. May his soul rest in peace and may the Lord give you and the family the strength to bear this irreparable loss. What a senseless kidding. I mean, so senseless, I'm telling you. The big question is, what did he do that you have to bring him down? You understand? And, you know, the reason why these guys are having upper hand in some states in Nigeria is because of politics. Oftentimes, when our own people, it's time for politics, they just enter into all manner of agreement with all manner of people just to ensure that they secure victory. And foolishly, we'll be looking at them thinking that they mean well for us, not knowing that it's for their personal selfish interest that they are doing whatever they are doing, you know. And when it happens like this, you just realize that they shut down. They can't even say anything. It do precisely has been a state that we've been hearing the issue of hate men virtually on a daily basis. They even stand on the road. Why do they have so much stronghold on a do state? That's one big question that someone needs to answer. Why are they having so much stronghold of the South South State in Nigeria? I, I, I think the one that they have so much stronghold is that Edo State. In, in the southeastern part, they just can't go close to that place, even though they had been there before now. But the, their influence is not felt again. Why? Because the people are ready to show them Pepe anytime they come around. And, you know, that's just the way you need to handle this guy. Kind of fire for fire. If you allow them to, if you pretend as if they are not, not existing, they are not important, you're going to feel their negative breath very soon. And I, I think at this point, our government, the people who have the responsibility of protecting life and property, needs to wake up to their responsibility so that this kind of issues will not happen. Shockingly, I can tell you that very soon, tears will be in the eyes of some of the governors. Very soon. Because now, right now, they, they've gone as far as hitting, you know, um, senator children. Remember last week, I think, if you check the uh, news feed, you're going to see that way one of the um, senator uh, children, I think in far away, Kaduna, was uh, killed by, you know, bandits. We don't even know whether they are bandits, whether they are full of the men. It's gradually, before you know, it's going to hit the governors very soon, just very soon. If nothing is done about it, you're going to see, see, hear it happen. And it will be with so much shock to everybody. I'd like to leave it there. Go to our comment section. Let's interact. Um, I'll use this opportunity to, you know, pray that God should console the family of Omoyede Showere.